Hey, what's up guys? So we are back with some more Fortnite Creative and we're going to be doing some music ones which people have made, which should be quite interesting because it's supposed to be movie themes. So we're going to see if we can guess what they are at the end of each run that we do. But before I get started, I just want to say a huge thank you for getting me to 50 subscribers. It's absolutely incredible. Obviously, I'm a new channel, so it means a lot to me. So don't forget to share the channel, share the videos, like them, and new people subscribe, and let's keep pushing and trying to make the channel grow. And also, at the end of this video, I will also be reviewing the new baller vehicle that they've put in. I've set up my own little course that I've made just to test it just a little bit. It's not really a course, it's just different obstacles, and to see how it reacts. So make sure to stick around right till the end for that. Right, so let's get started with the first one and see what it turns out like. Nice, that actually sounds pretty good. I already know what it is. It's actually pretty well done. Oh, the stairs are a bit off. Those stairs were a bit better. That was actually pretty good. Um, that just drops me back down to the start. So, I already know what it is, but before I say, go down into the comments, drop down what you think it might be, and see if you're right. So, when we get back to the start, and we're back there, that definitely has to be Ghostbusters. And it was actually really good, apart from the first stairs. Like The second stairs were actually quite a nice little run around because there weren't that many notes but the first one's a little bit off so it's still impressive though so let's get started with the next one yeah I think we all know what this one is see if it improves Stairs are a bit off again. That was actually pretty good. Quite well done, but once again, a little bit of an issue with the stairs. So, let's see what it sounds like for a little bit going backwards. I always like listening to these musical ones backwards because it sounds quite good still, but nothing like what it should sound like. So obviously that had to be Indiana Jones. You know, absolutely had to be. So on to, what is it, the third one now. So let's go. Yeah, I think we all know this one as well already. Oh, I like that. That's pretty good. Oh, those stairs were perfect. Oh, we've got a bend coming up. Nice, that was actually pretty good. I mean, backwards it's going to sound a little bit off. Still sounds good though, backwards. So obviously that one had to be Mission Impossible. I mean, there's certain ones you just know right from the start. But it's still pretty good. So, let's get on with the next one. Oh, okay, we can't walk through those blocks. I thought we could like the other ones. Right, we've got to jump onto these ones, have we? Oh, classic. It 
Interested to hear how they do the end bit. Oh, and I messed up a bit, but it's fine. Nice, I like that one. That was good. Let's hit, hear it backwards for a bit. Sounds really strange backwards. But that was obviously Pink Panther. It had to be... And they actually did really well with the end bit. I didn't know if they were actually going to be able to get that down. But that was quite impressive. So, I guess we're on to the last one now. So let's go. I mean, we all know what this is. Let's face it. If you don't, then you must have been living under a rock. Stairs are done quite well. I didn't realise that it started off so high pitched though, because the first few notes were actually quite high. So let's hear some of it backwards, just a little bit. That just sounds really wrong backwards. I don't like that one. But that was obviously, what is it, the Imperial March from Star Wars? Obviously, like, Darth Vader's walk, you know. But, yeah, so they were actually quite good. Actually quite well made. Obviously, some of them had some issues on the stairs, but some of them were actually done perfectly on the stairs. So I'd actually give that quite a high rating, you know. They were actually really good. So let's move on to the review of the baller. Hope you enjoyed the music, though. Right, so this is the new baller vehicle, which is quite nice actually. I've had a little test ride of it already, but it is pretty good. It's got a nice little plunger thing on the front. I can't remember what the weapon's actually called. And it's a gyrosphere, which is pretty nice. So let's get in here and give it a little drive around. It's not that fast, but obviously the maneuverability of it is brilliant because obviously it can just twist around however. And also with the plunger on the front you can actually do really fast turns like that which is actually really cool I absolutely love doing it and it has a boost function as well which does a little jump as well now the range of it it could go quite far I mean that's why I built this really tall platform as you can see it does reach all the way up to the top it's only when I reverse to if we keep going back a bit more there that it then loses the distance so i mean you can see that that's quite a long distance really and obviously you can plunge it right up to there and swing and boost and fly through the air so it's actually it's quite cool i don't know what sort of damage it will do to people if you run into them but it's quite good for changing direction and you know you could actually put some people off with it so I built a nice little tube because I wanted to see how it worked in tubes because I'm actually going to be creating my own map which will actually be a nice little like tube race type thing that you'll be able to go sliding down in this and sort of race against other people down different tubes. So I thought I'd just see how it worked in the tubes and it, it does work quite well. A little bit clunky but you can do quite cool jumps out at the end of it if you time the boost right. So that is slightly off. But it's quite fun. Obviously you can't jump back up into it. It is quite hard to oh, grapple up inside. And I just broke that as well. Which probably didn't help. But that's fine. So I've put down some of these other sort of traps and that. And boosters. Just to see how it functions with those. So... If I can get this right, we're going to go up there and drop down onto it and see how it... I mean, that actually boosts you up pretty high. So that actually works quite well with that one. But obviously it's a very small surface of contact sort of thing. So let's see if we can get it again. Yep, we can. So it's pretty good, that one. So we've got a few more down. I didn't actually put any spikes down because with the new update... Obviously, friendly spikes can't 
kill you anymore. So I can't actually activate them. <laughs> so I don't know what sort of damage it would actually do to the vehicle, unfortunately. But I might put some in when I actually create my course. So then we'll see how other people do. Because I'm going to hope that other YouTubers play the map and help promote it. Because then that way I can get a creator code and publish it so everyone can play it. So, let's test out some of these, shall we? So, first of all, we've got the movement modulator. So, if we just test out the speed quickly, as you can see, quite slow. So, if we go over it, we'll see if it speeds us up at all. Oh, okay, that just bounced off of it. Let's make sure we actually go on it. There we go, we're on it. Is that going faster? I mean, it does feel slightly faster, but not much. I don't know whether it's just me imagining it so i'm not too sure if that one actually works as we know from jumping out of the tube and landing on it this definitely works so that might be quite fun for when i build my course actually putting some of those in so you can actually go quite fast that should be pretty good now if we test before going onto the ice if we test how it works if we just let go and let it roll i mean it rolls for quite a while after just letting go of movement. So if we get some ice on us. Oh, we've got a huge ice ball on the outside of it. I don't think that's supposed to happen. So I may have to contact the creators of Fortnite and let them know that that's happened so they can actually fix it. Because I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen, getting that ice on the top there. But we'll still test how it works. So... I mean, it doesn't f feel that much slower, and it rolls the same amount. I think it just sounds slower because of the dragon. But I don't think it actually is. No, it doesn't seem to be changing the speed at all. So, the ice pad, I'm not too sure if it actually works with it, but as you can see, it puts a massive blob of ice on top, which is really strange. We've still got our icy feet inside it, though. But I don't know what that blob of ice on top is actually supposed to be about. So they may need to look into that and fix it. So we'll make sure to let them know. And then we've got the jump pad. Which, yep, I thought it would work. Obviously it's quite hard to control this in the air. You can't really pull back that much. So if I go slowly onto it, I may be able to keep bouncing on it. There we go. So it's still push there we go i've managed to sort of get a bit straighter but at least the jump pad actually works with it the bounce pad i made not the jump pad so that's something else i could consider putting into my course so the next thing we're going to do is test out the destructive capabilities of it on just standard building plates obviously we saw it destroy that because i'm also if it can destroy these hoping to turn it into a wrecking ball Oh, we're going round. So if I, can I swing it in and out? We can. So if I swing it, let's see what it does. Not that much, really. Doesn't really work as a wrecking ball. But what if I boost it? That's still not really doing much. Oh, that one did. Wow, okay. So with the boost, it can work as a wrecking ball. So I might actually have to make a little mini-game wrecking ball map, which should be quite fun. There we go. That smashed it quite well. So what if we just drive into it? Nice. It bounces off, so obviously it won't be able to go through more than one at a time. But, as you can see, it does do quite a bit of destruction. So let's go up there. The problem is, you can't just let go and stay at a height it seems to really like dragging it right to the very top which is a bit of a shame because it means that when i make the wrecking ball one i'm gonna have to have different size cranes everywhere you can't just i, I thought it would have been you pull the trigger or fire whichever one you're using and it would just attach on but as soon as you let go, it actually detaches. So that's a bit of a shame, that. But let's just destroy this bottom one quickly and watch it all destroy. Obviously, that's something else I'm going to have to 
work out how to do is to make sure people can't just do that to destroy everything in the mini game. But then again, it's just a mini game, so I can't really imagine you wanting to do that because it just make it quite boring. It'd be more fun to use the actual crane. But you can also do it to ramps, so you have to be careful when you boost on a ramp. Oh, that was quite fun. So yeah, that's the baller. It's actually it's quite fun to little to have a little play around in. So what I'd suggest is just go into creative like I have and just place it down and just give it a little test. See what you can do in it. And hopefully when I get my creator code, if I get my creator code, I'll be able to upload maps for you guys to play. So I hope you enjoyed the music blocks and I hope you enjoyed the baller review type thing. And I hope you subscribe and like the video. Peace out.